Well, hello once again, audience. This is your host, 51st Crash, here on Dark Souls. The souls are dark. Um, anyway, I grinded ground, whatever, a little bit in this area, and got up to 4,094 souls. I also have two humanity up in my um, humanity box, I guess you can call it. Um, you can just get liquid humanity off of uh, enemies randomly, uh, as long as the boss in that area has not been defeated yet, and you can do that for up to 10 humanity. Now, getting humanity increases your item discovery. Um, when you're at 1 humanity, your item discovery goes from 100 to 150. With 2, obviously, to 158. Um, that means that you find things faster. Um, you can find more items. For, exan for, instance, for instance, uh, I found a titanite shard off of an enemy. So now I could go back to Rickert and reinforce something if I wanted, but I don't. I don't really have anything now that I want to reinforce. Um, so plus five reinforce, standard weapon. Titanite shard for weapon reinforcement. Most common titanite material. Reinforces standard weapon to plus five. Titanite shards are fragments of the legendary slabs. Titanite is etched into weapons to reinforce. So that's a thing. Um, I also found, besides that, a couple more... Another Hollow Warrior Helm. Um, I think I also found, found another Cracked Around Shield. And I also found a Short Sword, um, which has... Uh, which does 78 base physical damage. Um, it's not a thrusting type weapon, it's a straight sword, so it's not a thrusting sword, so the critical of 100 is actually just normal 100. Um, 78 base damage from the parameter bonuses of C, double C for strength and dexterity, I get plus 9. Uh, required strength parameter is 8, required dexterity is 10. Um, the damage reduction is better than the damage reduction of the scimitar. 50% physical, 10 magic, and then fire, 35, lightning, 35, and stability, 32. Um, it weighs a little more than the scimitar, though. Weights 2. Um, yeah, we put my equipment load up to 14.6, and my right weapon down to 87. Um, it has 200 durability, no auxiliary effects. Now then, short sword. Open type, straight sword. Attack type, regular and thrust. This small straight sword is widely used, to an extent only matched by the long sword. An accessible sword which inflicts consistent regular damage and high slash damage, making it applicable to a variety of situations. It's a pretty good sword. We won't be using it. We won't really be touching it ever again. Um, and then there is the battle axe, which I also picked up from one of those axe-wielding guys. Um, yeah. So... Attack type, physical, base 95, but minus 75 because of the 12 strength parameter. Well, we only have 10 strength uh, dexterity. Required parameter is 8, and the parameter bonuses are C for strength and D for dexterity. Um, again, critical is normal because it's an axe and not a thrusting sword. No auxiliary effects, and better damage reduction. 55% physical, 10 magic. 40 and 40 for lightning and fire, uh, 36 stability, 250 durability, but wait, 4. It would put my equipment load up to 16.6, and it would put my right weapon down to 20, because I don't have the correct stuff to wield it. Battle axe, weapon type, axe. Act attack type, regular. Standard battle axe inflicts regular damage, making it effective in various situations. So what just happened is someone somewhere kindled a bonfire, and uh, what that does is that'll give me an extra Estus Flask, so that's cool. Uh, back to what we were doing. Sorry. Um, standard Battle Axe. Attack type regular. Standard Battle Axe inflicts regular damage, making it effective in various situations. Powerful attack due to its weight, but one wrong swing leaves the wielder wide open, so timing and proximity to the enemy must be judged carefully. Yes. All those things are true. Anyway, uh, let's talk to our merchant friend. Ow. There you are. Still keeping your marbles all together? Then go ahead. Don't be a nitwit. Never hurts to splurge when your days are numbered. <laughs> I, I guess so. Anyway, 
let's buy that repair box. Repair box. Specialized mortar used to repair weapons and armor by grinding repair powder. Rest at a bonfire to make weapon and armor repair possible. Repair powder is fragile and cannot be taken long. Can cannot be taken along. Okay, then. Purchase. Thank you. Mm, I might not have gotten enough souls for what I want to do. I don't think I did. I think I need more souls. Well, we'll buy the things that we want and then grind some more. That's my bad. Rapier. Um, physical da base physical damage is 73. It's a thrusting sword. Um, so when it says critical 110, that means that it's like really high because a critical of 100 on a thrusting sword is already really high. Uh, so physical 73, but plus 10 because required parameters 7 and 12 for strength and dexterity give a parameter bonus of D and C. Um, no auxiliary effects, physical damage reduction 45, magic 10, fire 30, lightning 30, and 22 stability. 150 dur durability, weight 1.5. Weapon type, thrusting sword, attack type thrust. Standard thrusting sword, regular one-handed attack can be delivered with shield held up, can parry with use of left hand. Thrusting attacks pierce and are effective against foes with hard exteriors, but the wielder is left open to damage after a swing. We will be buying that. And now it turns out that I need to go and uh, grind for stuff. Um, actually, first, wooden arrows. Wooden arrow. Physical 35. Thrust damage. Uh, no magic fire. Lightning damage, of course. Critical 100. Normal. No auxiliary effects. Weapon type. Arrow. Attack type. Thrust. Standard arrow. These arrows do not fly particularly far, nor do they inflict a terrible amount of damage, but their cheap cost makes them useful when volume is required. And because of that, I'm going to be buying... Uh, 150 of them. Yes. Oh, and... Thank you. Very much. Come back soon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, whatever. I'm going to go off screen and grind again so that we can buy the final thing that I want to buy from him. Uh, yes. So, I will see you then. Sorry about that. Uh, bye now. Bye. See you in a sec. Uh, hello, welcome back. Um, so I ground for more souls, as you can see, 1308. I got another humanity, um, which puts my item discovery up to 165. Um, and I also discovered myself victim of an unfortunate glitch that has been discovered in this PC port before, which is that, oh, it seems to be over. Um, for a while there, I couldn't actually use my right bumper to attack. I would press it and nothing would happen, but instead, when I exited out of the, uh, the menu, I would get, um, I would do the attack before, and that, uh, that glitch, I think, was seen on a few of Argon Matrix's streams, which I was present for, and so it was a little silly to be a victim of it as well. Praise the sun, whatever. Oh, come on. Go away, message. I wanna... No, fuck. So that was a little silly, but oh, there you are. Didn't do too much so damage. Your marbles all together. Yes, I am. Never hurt. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Purchase item. We want to buy the short bow. Um, it does no attacks on its own, but it has 50 shot range. Does uh, phys 31 physical damage, base damage plus 10 because of D and A strength and dexterity. Uh, bonuses to 7 and 12 strength and dexterity requirements. Durability 100, weight 0.5, real light. No damage reduction because you can't block with it at all. Um, no auxiliary effects. Weapon type, bow. Attack type, none. Small bow, standard projectile weapon, equipped arrows to use. Hold bow and press LB, left bumper, to aim. Aim for heads of humanoid foes. Press left trigger and right trigger to change type of arrows. Yep. We're buying it. Purchase. And I think I will also buy some more wooden arrows. I'll buy 50 to put us up to an even 200. Yes, thank you. Thank you kindly. Yep. Uh, <laughs> 
in case I didn't mention, I got another short sword while I was grinding, but anyway. Um, I'm not going to kindle our bonfire because we still have um, plenty of uh, stuff. But um, I am going to rest, just making sure. I'm going to rest at this bonfire. Actually, wait. No, I didn't mean to stand up. I'm going to rest at this bonfire. Um, repair my scimitar, my leather shield, and my wooden shield, and my wanderer hood, wanderer coat, wanderer chet, and wanderer boots. And now access bottomless box. I'm going to put all three, all four red eye orbs in it. Uh, we'll keep those. We'll keep those. We'll keep those. We will not keep those. Keep those. Put all of those away. Put those away as well. Keep those. Uh, put that away. Put that away. And there we go. And that is how you would use this. And we could also put away um, some of our short swords and our straight sword hilt and other things besides, uh, which I think I will do. I think I will put away our two short swords and our straight sword hilt. We will keep the rapier and the S stock. We'll put away the battle axe, at least for now. We'll put away the morning star. Keeping those, we'll put away the talisman. We'll put away both our cracked round shields. And we're keeping both of those. Okay. We put away one of our warrior helms, at least. Okay. And there's no point in putting that away, either. Alrighty. Uh, yes. Now then, let me show you how it is done. And whoop. go. Now that guy's gonna run up, and I'm going to soul arrow him before he even makes it up here. There we go. Now we already know that our, uh, our scimitar is doing about 146-ish damage when we repost. Um, here's our scimitar. I mean, sorry, here's our rapier, and it, it does exclusively thrusting attacks there are no slashes like with the s stock so we're going to parry this guy down here and see just how much damage we can do with it 242 even more than with the s stock against guys that have more armor so yes yet uh, rapier is great against enemies that you need to parry and repost. But the scimitar is still better in terms of just actually fighting people. Uh, I'm actually going to... No, I'm just going to run for it. And now turn around. Alright, I got one of them. All I really needed was one, so that's fine. Ah, damn it. That was a partial parry. You'll notice that I did take some damage, but I didn't take any poise damage or stun lock or anything. Um, so that is what a partial parry looks like. There he is. I was waiting for this guy. And I can't kick his shield away. Oh. I can't kick his shield away because I don't have a kick. I only have my little 
twirly. Woo. Yeah, it's not a kick. Need humanity. Meh. Doesn't open from this side. Be wary of fall. Oh, well, I guess if you open that, yeah. Alright, so there's a guy in here. Let's parry him. Let's parry that guy. Wow, crazy camera. Please don't do that, camera. And... Ooh, I for always forget that there's stuff in here. Chest. A chest. Let's open it. And... Black firebombs. Let's check those out. Black firebomb. Explodes, inflicting fire damage. Black bisque urn filled with black powder. Explodes, inflicting fire damage. Powerful ranged weapon, especially in situations calling for fire damage. A very precious item at low levels. Black firebombs are especially destructive. I think we will equip that in place of our normal firebombs. Uh, although we won't need to use them anytime soon, I think. No. Let's take care of these guys with our catalyst. He did. He did. Oh, he dropped something, too. Parried yo ass. Oh, they both dropped something. But not him. Uh, a firebomb. Nice. And another hollow warrior helm. How'd you die? Oop. There it was. That was his death. You'll notice that you find things much more easily when you have uh, more humanity. So yeah. You don't even need to... Uh... Yeah. Good thing about Soul Arrow is that it homes. Nope. Ah, shit. I can never time that. I can never time those super slow hits. So we'll lost I'm dead. Uh, wait, what? I saw something. Oh, I know what that is. Yeah, we will get that later. Later, later, later. So, running through. Need key, yes, the residence key. But we have the residence key, so we can and will open that. But first. You can die. Didn't drop anything. Darn. Try luring it out. Try luring what? Oh. I think I know what that's talking about. Anyway. No, you don't. Homing. Homing OP. Hmm. Yeah. The, the problem with the spear guys is that you, I can't kick away their shield because all I have is that silly move instead of a kick. So, that's bad. They're hard to predict. Ooh. Someone just kindled a bonfire. I'm not sure if it's when someone kindles the bonfire that you just rested at, or any bonfire anywhere, but... Anyway. How'd you die? Up there. Well. Yeah, you ain't getting me with that shit. Ah, shit. There we go. I tried bashing him with the... Alrighty. Ooh, I have four humanity, which means my item discovery is up to 173. 
Nice. But now we can't go through there. We don't have the key. But we can go up here. Um, we're not going to stay up here. We just... We can go up here. Um, now... Let's see. I wonder where... Oh, there it is. Mm, come back. And with that, we get two Twinkling Titanite and two large Titanite shards. Nice. Sorry, Crystal Lizard. I'm sorry. I wouldn't do that to you if this was real life. I probably wouldn't. Now, what that does is it gives us two large Titanite shards, plus ten reinforced standard weapon, plus five reinforced raw weapon. Not that raw weapons are really any good. Large Titanite Shard. Titanite Shard for weapon reinforcement. Larger Titanite Material. Reinforces standard weapons to plus 10 and raw weapons to plus 5. Titanite Shards are fragments of the legendary slabs. Titanite is etched into weapons to reinforce. Twinkling Titanite. <clears throat> plus 5 reinforce for weapons not reinforced normally. Twinkling Titanite. This weapon reinforcing Titanite is imbued with a particularly powerful energy. It reinforces weapons that cannot be enforced, reinforced normally to plus five. After this Titanite was peeled from its slab, it is said that it received a special power, but its specific nature is not clear. Hum. Well, that's a thing. And now that we've killed that, we will backtrack. Yes. Wow, I took damage from that. Whatever. Anyway, don't fall. You can, but it's not advised. Be wary of trap. Yep. That burning barrel that I escaped. Alright. So now then, let's go in here. Nah, no, 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 no. Open. Use residence key. Now, there's nothing in this first room, but in the yard, we have... Gold pine resin. Three of them. Now then, let's take a look. Shall we? Gold pine resin applies lightning to right-hand weapon. Rare pine resin which emits golden sparks applies lightning to right-hand weapon. Affected weapon inflicts rare lightning damage, making it effective against targets which are resilient to both magic and fire. Very effective against dragon family foes. Indeed. However, we shan't be using it. At least not yet. Now. Do I dare? Let me see. Equipping that. Mm, eh. It's basically the same, but I get more poise and roll slower. I think we gotta go with that, and with that. Yeah, I know. Gold pine resin, okay. Whew, I'm not at all sure about this, but we are going to go down this way and to take on what we may find. This guy. This scary motherfucker. He took up a lot of my stamina right there. Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh. What? He killed me. Well, I will be able to get that bloodstain pretty easily. We'll re collect our souls and we will try that again. I am going to try that again. Because I know that I can do it. I was just being stupid and silly and not timing my parries very well. Okay. long enough. Hmm. And let's re 
need to equip our scimitar, for now at least. Leave that there. Hmm. Alrighty. We only have eight Estus flasks now, though, because we don't regain. Ah! Stupid idiot. Okay. Oh my god, fuck you. That's right. Get wrecked. And let's take out your friends. Down he went. Don't fall off. That would be bad. Yeah. And up. Yeah, no thanks. I don't think so, Buster. I can never get that guy bef I can never lock onto him before he starts shielding. And when he's shielding, I can't really use my magic. So, that sucks. Come on up here, buddy. Take your sweet fucking time. I don't think so. I really don't. Now there's that guy. Here he comes. souls and our humanity and let's try this again I might want to put the leather shield on hmm. worst ability 52 45 mm. and worst damage reduction mm. but better parrying I think Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'm going to try it. Let's see if we can sneak up on him successfully. I have backstabbed this guy before. It's just really fucking difficult. Got him! Luckily, it un... lets me run away. 
know he's chasing me. There he is. Oh my god. What? Got him. Oh yeah. Oh, it feels so good. But I only got a Titanite chunk. Even with my four humanity. <sighs> Damn. Oh well. Titanite chunk. Titanite shard, yes. Titanite chunk. Plus 14 reinforced standard weapon. Plus 4 reinforced crystal and lightning weapon. Titanite chunk for weapon reinforcement. Not found outside of Lordran. Reinforces standard weapons to plus 14, and crystal lightning weapons to plus 4. With the discovery of chunks in Lordran, the race to locate the legendary slabs has begun. But could they be mere myth? Who knows. I'm going to de-equip our rapier, because we don't need it anymore, in favor of our scimitar. And I'm going to go rest at our bonfire. Uh, and that will be the episode. Uh, in the next episode, we will continue on and do more things that are good. Yes. Um, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!